How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? About to get in the fuzz. What's going on? What's going on, people? It is tonight. I guess I have to do a recap as far as earlier. It's officially Friday and stuff. And I said it was Sunday and stuff, I guess, because my mind and stuff. And I'm going to open up to you a little bit. Something I never told you in reference to, you know, the different um, things that I go through behind the scenes as far as I think I kind of told you a little bit, but I won't tell you everything. Anyway, I want to talk to you about the story in hand as far as Monica and her husband, Shannon Brown. Basically, they've been married since 2010 and stuff, and she's 36 and he's 30, 30, I forget how old he was, but, um, anyway, I want to share this story with you and stuff like that, um, check this out. Okay, so I'm in the house and I'm looking at, um, Monica's hair, it's the singer Monica. So I'm thinking I want to change my hair to something short and stuff, and I saw her hair and it's got this blue going on, and I really don't want to dye my hair blonde because, um, you know, um, I just got it back black and I kind of just want to ride it out through the black and I was kind of trying to find another different thing. So I clicked on the thing and tried to see her pictures and I found her husband and stuff. I didn't know she was married and stuff. And she, Monica's 36 years old and she's married to um, Shannon Brown, who is 31 years old. Now, I didn't know she married somebody young, but you know what? Whatever works for you work. Now, he is a basketball player. A very nice looking basketball player. In fact, he stands at the height of 6'4". You know, and the thing about it was that I, I kept going down as far as, you know, through the Google and stuff. And I said, the Monica name pop up and it says, Monica responds to Shannon Brown got another woman pregnant. And I'm like, oh my God, don't tell me this. This can't be happening because... In my mind, I kind of always want that happy ending and stuff. And it says, early this summer, the report it began surfacing that despite rumors of infidelity, the marriage between Shannon and Monica Brown was still standing. Yesterday, July the 20th, a new chain that not only did Shannon have an affair with another woman, but the two have a less child together. So basically what it's saying is that um, Shannon had an affair and had an alleged child. Now Monica has been relatively quiet about the matter, but decided to weigh in on the rumor control and in the industry on Blast Block originally posted that the story later apologized and retracted it. Um, the blogs came that the woman is not um the woman is not a side chick, but in fact a stalker. Monica posted on Instagram that she appreciates the apology and that it is by far first that someone even cares, although it won't change the per second or per perception, nor will it um, reach many televisions and media outlet that picked it all up. Now, the singer then shared that the woman has been stalking her or her husband her and her husband for years and that she will leave the rest to the federal bureau now she then posted um a second response detailing that the story was um were sold and um told um without any truth whatsoever regarding her husband possibly a fear of a child saying that you know that the rumor the rumor hassled another family in addition to their own and because of this reason she decided to speak up in the situation and stuff and you know she had a picture of basically the child um with her husband and stuff um basically sitting up there now it says that the last several years stories were sold and told about um without any truth whatsoever our aging grandmother was called and told my brother-in-law was in a wreck and near death and family line stalked on so on but honestly i've never discussed it because it feels as entertainers we are fair game to a cruel world and new age media she also said that but i will but i want to apologize to my family of this beautiful baby Someone used in a deceitful, sick game to hurt my family. Although we had nothing to do with it, 
it is truly sorry for your daughter was used this way. My love child for children runs deep and I feel they're off limit, but the sick world clearly doesn't feel the same. To her mother and father, we are so sorry. So they basically put another baby up there and Monica responded, um, it is the industry on blast discussing, <clears throat> excuse me, the industry on blast discussing with such sadness and remorse that we have to retract a juicy story. We at IOB are learning as we go. And this past month, we have been communicating with the cycle stalker. The woman stalked Monica Brown and Shannon Brown and their family and friends. She sent us her phone number and they gave her phone number out. And basically 720-549-6043. Yes, we're blasting you ho, cause you trifling. And we deem us on Twitter and deemed us on Twitter several times as well as email. She sent us photos of the pregnancy test doing, um, she sent us photos of the pregnancy test being sent to Monica's brother and she sent photos which turned out to be stolen. The reason we waited so long to formatly the story was we needed more proof. Once she sent alleged new photos from her DM screenshot, she had the old she had her old phone, she said, bingo. We are huge fans of Monica at IOB and we only wanted to bring forward a serious situation that was the woman needed a fam one the woman needed a father in her daughter sly sadly the story is fabricated by a person who wants to seek mental health we feel just as badly as some of you who read through the comments and saw that the parents are in the innocent babies crying about their daughter's pictures being among all traces of the stories have been deleted and trashed. We officially we officially apologize to the lovely and beautiful Monica Brown and her husband Shannon, the mother of the baby girl whose photo was stolen, whose photo was used as a stalker. And um, you know, I had no idea she was going through all this type of stuff, you know. As far as Monica and stuff, so you know me. I'm always trying to find out, you know, exactly what's going on. As far as, you know, um, a lot of different things she's going through. I, know, I, I had no idea about this. And I knew about the girls being stalked and stuff because I know by being a blogger and stuff, I always feel as though, you know, you're fair game as far as, um, you know, you put yourself out there in the forefront. You're going to get a lot of unwelcome people and stuff. Now, when I saw Monica had, um, tweeting this stuff, she says, Monica, my life, warning a lot of fake, false fabrication, fabricated emails going around about me and my loved ones. However, we know who's sending them. I'm sure you're laughing, but same thing that makes you laugh, makes you cry. It is a slow process, but you will suffer the repercussions of your childish action soon. By the way, I don't even mean bodily harm. I don't even mean bodily hard. I guess you mean harm. Um, I'm way too grown for that now. The law works fine in this case. Looking at your IP address right now. See you soon. Now, the thing is that... Um, I found something else in reference to that, you know, and, you know, this is, this is really sad, you know, um, to go through this. And she says, Monica, my, Monica, my life. Hey there, I want to thank you all of you who have been so supportive of myself and my family for so many years. I hate this. I hate to say this, but we will no longer be on Twitter. I love the fact that I'm able to speak on my real supporters. It is, it is. Um, excuse me, it, real supporters, but it has also become a way for, it has become a way for people to do malicious things when my sole intent was to spread positivity. I love you guys dearly and I will find ways to stay in touch, but this is better for the protection of my children and I, my family. 
fiance and fans and fans too much is being said and it doesn't say and for that you know so basically she found a um you know going through it as far as you know charges and everything bothering this woman you know this is such a nightmare to try to service a brand as far as being a singer and being out there and stuff and you know she says she's gonna leave the rest up to the federal bill so she's filing charges and stuff but this is a nightmare i had no idea she was going through all this and all I was doing is looking at a hairstyle, and here it is, this woman is catching hell, just trying to live in her truth. Now I understand when she made that video, Monica and Johnson music video, everything to me. That video was basically telling her stories, what she going through. She got the court part and everything inside the video. I was wondering why they had to put the court and everything, but basically she was talking about the stalker. I have no idea, but you know now. Okay, you see that? You know, this is my thing. And the reason why I'm doing this story, you may be saying, well, baby, why are you doing this story as stalkers and stuff? Because as a person who has a blocker basically in front of the front scene, as far as standing in front of you, I do not know what everyone looks like. I do not know what everyone's agenda is now. I have had people attack me, which I share with you as well, and I also share with you the fact that we have wolves in sheep clothing. Basically, people that sit on this page basically don't like transgender women or trans men, but we're going to stay on me at, at the subject at hand and stuff. Now, they do not like me, and they wish me harm. Now, I've never shared this part with you, but I'm going to share something with you. I have um, three women that I know of that are stalking me on my page. Now, they're going to change their names. Um, they're going to come at me a lot of ways and I can kind of pick up who they are when they come at me. Now, one was a, a one like a fan and stuff and she started emailing me in my Yahoo account and stuff and then all of a sudden she started attacking me. Okay, fine. Then it was another one who became obsessed with me. She came in love with me. Now, remind you, she's a lesbian and she's in a relationship with another woman, but she came obsessed with me. She started screaming, hollering, crying, and everything in me, and you know, and I went through that. Then there was another woman who's checking up on me, watching me to see if I'm messing with her man. And she's popping this page. Now, probably watching this video as we speak. Okay, then I have this other one who's on this page, I'm just going to show it, I'm just going to, look, I'm going to put it out there, I, I'm, to that extent, I'm just going to tell you. I have another guy that I met in New York and stuff like that, and like I said, before he tried to rob me, which we, he was not successful, he's been very angry with me ever since he wasn't able to rob me. So, he went on my kick page, he attacked me, he went on my YouTube page, he attacked me. He came on Facebook page, he attacked me. And this message has always been very clear that he want me dead, you know, and he wants me dead because he wanted he wanted to rob me and he couldn't find where I put my money and he's been up very upset with me and stuff like that. And I ran into him in New York a few times. Okay. Then let's talk about my car. A guy broke into my house. Not this part, not this place where I used to live. And he robbed me, stole my camera, and a few other items and stuff, but the owner of the house that I was renting um, heard that someone that she had brought, because she had brought it to my house, so she, cause they couldn't believe how much I fixed it up, so he robbed me and stuff. After he robbed me, I got him locked up. So due to the fact that I got him locked up, he felt as though I needed to pay. So he's been attacking my car. He attacked my car so much that I had to move where I'm at now. And basically, he knew my license plate and he kept attacking my car to the point where I don't have a car anymore. And 
this is before, as far as him, that's before the um, blog could begin and stuff. And the reason why I brought him into it, because this is why I want to let you know that stalkers are real. And stalker people are not functional like you think. You know, you get to argue with somebody, you be like, well, listen, I'm going to do this and this, but reality, you're really not going to do anything. These people are here to get you. They don't care. And basically, like, you, you attack them back. That's what they want. They love it. You know, it's like being raped, you know, somebody raping you and, you know, like, you know, oh, God forbid, but when somebody's raping you, you fight it back. He's the whole purpose of you raping you. He wants you to fight back. That is the fantasy of it. He loves that part. You know, and when it comes to girls or guys, in case of me, as far as being stalkers, when you fight back, that's what they want. They get the adrenaline rush from that. The whole purpose to make your life miserable is the adrenaline rush that they get when you fight back. So I just want to share this with you and, and uh, I wanted to share it with you also as well because you're basically leaving comments and stuff and there'll be people that's gonna, and I'm giving you a heads up if you watch this video and if you don't watch it clearly you won't be aware of this but I'm sharing it with you. You're gonna leave comments and stuff and they're gonna go to you, they're gonna go to someone else and they're gonna tell you Oh, baby, I don't know what she's talking about. Why well, can't stand this so-and-so? Oh, you just said they're going to say all this stuff about me. And a lot of times, when you watch the video, they're already attacking me. And they're coming after me. And they're going to go to you. They're going to go to the next person. And their whole goal is to get you to turn against me. It's so much of a vendetta of hate against someone you don't even know. You know, and I've been attacked. Um, I've been attacked because um, I was told that um, my videos are always about me, or and I think I'm so beautiful. I feel this, so I'm so. It's it's just so ironic of uh, the degree that they'll go to. And when I leave out and I got friends and stuff, I won't take pictures with them anymore. If you notice, I don't take pictures. I would take pictures by myself because I have to protect my friends and I have to protect people around me because I want nothing to happen. It now as far as uh circle people and stuff like that they can't figure out who's my friend and who's not that's totally different but i have to protect everybody around me because of these reasons of stalkers now as far as monica and shannon she got all her business out there and her kids are not in this video because i feel as i don't want them in there as far as me trying to protect them even though she has it all out there and you know um it's sad that she has to go into hiding and she can't share the happiness with someone and you know, it just kind of makes you sad because it's like the struggle is real and it's so hard to get there. And when you finally get there, you got somebody's waiting there for you just to take you down. And, you know, it's, it's sad. But, you know, I can't stop only because I have a lot of young people watching me. And if I stop, then I may not be there to try to save them for something happened to them. But anyway. And as a blogger, you need to be aware that you are basically going to be stalked and you basically got to have people that's going to want your life and they don't care. You know, and it is what it is, but you just want to share it with you. Because the story hit close to home and I thought I would share with you. And I'm sorry this video is long, but I want to share it with you. And I would love to hear your thoughts about this. And I want to let you know that I love you. And I want to thank you for watching. Guess the rich.